Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about, guys, is something called a, a composite, okay, a, a composite transformation or a composite function. Uh, the word composite, hopefully you kind of understand that that word sort of has the word compose um, hidden inside of it. I hope I spelt compose correctly. Anyways, um, so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're creating something. We're composing. So we're putting several things together and, and doing them all at the same time. Now, I lied. It's not the same time. You do need to do them in the order that you're given. Um, for instance, if you read this one, we're going to start with a pre-image uh, triangle, and then we're going to reflect it and translate it. So just make sure that you do them one at a time. I like to show both pictures to know where I end up. So, in other words, I'm going to start with uh, graphing my vertices, negative 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's x, right? And then y, negative 2, positive 1, there's my y, and then z, negative 5, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Okay, so here's my x, y, z, and if I connect these, it'll, of course, make the triangle, that they want me to make. Whoa. Hello, not straight lines. Now we are going to do the first thing it mentions, which is the uh, reflection. So I'm going to color code so I know what I'm doing with my life. So on the first one, I'll do in blue. And a reflection in the x-axis, we've talked about this uh, before, correct? We're going to take this and flip it across this axis. So um, I'm going, you could either write out those points as your intermediate step. I'll probably do both, or you can graph it. So I just like to look at it, right? So this is one away, so this is one away. This one is two away, so now it's two away. So it's the same distance from the yellow axis, right? This one was ye seven away, so I need to go down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this blue one is not my final answer. This is sort of like my intermediate step. So for A, the points would have changed to, um, what would they change to? <laughs> Let's see. We would just make the, um, the y's negative. So they're going to be negative 3, negative 7 negative 2, negative 1, and then negative 5, negative 2. So these are my blue intermediate step, and that's why I'm not even going to necessarily label it. Um, some people do the following. Some people would like relabel this as a z prime, then an x prime, and then a y double, or a y prime. And this is their middle step, but they're going to go ahead and call that the, the primes. Then they would take their final step and you see how this is x prime, y prime, z prime? They're going to make that a double prime. So you'll see like two little slashes here and that means that you've completed step two. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to change what I typed in on, on that paper here. Um, and I want this green to be my final answer. And so that is going to be taking the blue image that I've already done and then doing this. So what is this? Well, it wants me to move the x by 9 and the y by 2, and I'm shifting them in the positive direction. So I'm going to take the easiest point on here, which is y, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then up 2, and that's going to be where my vector moves that point right there. You can draw your vector, or if that confuses you, don't draw your vector and just draw your point instead. But everything needs to move by this amount of right 9 and up 2. Or if you don't like thinking of it as right 9 up 2, you could always just take your points that you wrote in blue, like your, your the blue triangles points, and we can just take all of the x's and add 9. And then we can take all of the y's and add 2. And that will also show you where they end up. So negative 3 plus 9 is 6. Negative 2 plus 9, 7. Negative 5 plus 9, 4. Add 2 to those. And that should be where things end up. And I already know that works because look at my y prime. My y prime just moved here. So I could call it y double prime. It's right now at the point over 7 up 1. Yay, math, it works. Okay, now we'll do the other points. So I need a point at 6, negative 5. 
and that's going to be where x just moved so I'll call it x double prime and then z is at 4 0 z double prime now some of y'all are going to start getting pro at this and you'll be able to do some of the stuff in your head and we understand that and we're okay with that um, but I'll tell you this if you do the, the stuff in your head and then you mess it up I can't give you partial credit right but if you show me your pictures if you show me your middleman steps and what you're thinking on paper I can definitely hook you up with some partial points so um, think about that as you're doing these and just be careful you got all the time in the world and um, these are these are not so bad so go ahead and try the next few and um, yeah hopefully it goes well thanks